Hello folks, so what I'm going to do today with this video is show you how to use these sheets on your iPad to play some fabulous tunes. Okay, here we go. Now then, before I introduce the sheets, the software that we're going to use on the iPad to play some tunes is GarageBand. So all the, all the kids should have GarageBand on their iPad. So if I click on that, well, you'll see it opens up to the piano, but here it might open up to this. So you have a keyboard, drums, various different instruments. I'm sure you've explored this already, but we are going to use the keyboard for this program. So if I press keyboard, you'll see it comes up with a lovely piano. If somebody's been fiddling around with, with it already, it might be set up differently. But um, you, you, first of all, we need to make sure that we've got this particular piano keyboard and um, here, with this button here, if I press that, you'll notice it gives us different options. The top is just giving us one keyboard. If I do this, then it gives us two keyboards. We are only going to use one keyboard. And the other thing we need to make sure is that we're using the smallest keyboard here, or the largest, in fact, but um, um, the one with the least amount of notes. If I press this one, you'll see it changes. They have lots of notes, and if I press the, this one, it has even more. Well, we're not going to use all those. We're just going to go to the smallest one, like this. Now, for this particular program, the sheets that we're using um, range from a B through one octave up to an E. So we have to make sure that this keyboard is set up in the right place. So you'll notice in the middle that there's a button here called Glissando, or it might say scroll. So if you toggle, it goes between glissando and scroll. So to set it up, we need to have it on scroll. And this C3 that's here, we need to pull it so that it becomes the second note on the keyboard. So now we have a B to start with. And um, if any of you uh, don't know how a piano keyboard works, well, we need the alphabet to go from A to G. Um, but we're going to put C here, so this will be B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts with A, B, C, D, E. So, now we've scrolled this to the right place. C3 is the second note. Um, we need to make sure that we press this button again so it becomes glissando. So that means that when you hold the keys, it won't move the keyboard. It'll give you... A lovely glissando. Um, okay, that's how to set it up to use the sheets. So now let me introduce one of these sheets to you. So here is the sheet. If you look at this, we have at the bottom the piano keyboard. And it tells you all the notes. And if you've seen the keyboard program, you will know that this octave that we're working on, um, go. this octave here is in black and then the next octave is going to be blue and any lower octaves are green and even below that is red however for the for the for this particular ipad program we're just going to use this one octave and these notes here so there's a whole range of um scores um on the site where you can that you can print off and um, that go from here to here um as the program develops then possibly we'll we'll get you to scroll to another bunch of keys um, so you can play higher up or lower down but that's for the program is going to use these notes to start off with so here we have twinkle twinkle little star and the, these are the notes in order that you need to play the tune so these ones are slightly longer here that's what that means anyway don't worry too much about that um that will become self-explanatory as we start to play um but the beauty of this is <clears throat> if you lay this now that the keyboard's set up in the right place. On top of here, you can see that it shines through. You might want to make sure the brightness is right up. And then it sits nicely on top like this. And then, if you follow the keys, follow the letters.
There you go, the one finger virtuoso. <clears throat> Let me put this to the side for a minute and I'll show you this other sheet here, which is almost identical. Here we are. But you, you'll notice on this sheet that I've taken away all the extra notes that you that you don't need. So for this particular tune, you only need these notes here. So that makes it a little bit easier for the kids um, to see what notes they need. There you go. That's example number one. Let me just pull another one up here so you can see what we've done here. So here's Ali Bally B, same thing. Now you might want to fix this down with a piece of blue tack or something just to hold it in place. I'm using my thumb just now. So here's Ali Bally B. And so on and so on. So there's a wee example. Now then, here comes the clever bit. So if you look closely at this, here's another slightly more complicated example. If you look closely at the sheets, I've put these dotted lines here and here. So if you make some folds like this, and then fold this one back, then if you put it down on top of the keyboard, like this, there you go. And it stands like this, move it to exactly the right place. Again, you might want to fix it with some blue tack or a bit of scotch tape on the side. I don't know. But now you can see we've got the tune here. This one's slightly more complicated. Flower of Scotland. Um, you will notice that um, if you look closely, I'll bring it up. There's some blue ones, a couple of blue C's. So that just means that we use this C here instead of this low one here. And also there are some flat signs. So this is a B flat. So that just means that instead of playing a B, which would be here, we have to play this note here, which is called B flat. Okay, and again, um, these little things, they're not always an exact science, but they give you an idea as to the rhythm. When I was at high school, we had to do sight singing, and my singing was so awful that I had to whistle. I whistled my way through my hire. There you go. Right, I'll put this back on, and I'll just try and play this wee tune. Okay, here we go. Flower of Scotland. Sing along if you like. There you go, there's me at it with my, with my pointy finger. Yeah, let me put that away um, and show you, there's one or two examples here where it actually tells you which fingers to use. So one would be your thumb, one, two, three, four, five. This treble clef here is telling you um, really to use your right hand within this, this pack and um, we're not uh, th at the moment there's nothing really for the left hand we're just trying to play tunes and exercises with our right hand so it's really an introduction at the minute um, so here we are if I put this one down you'll see that um, we've only got the notes we need here to play this exercise and one two three four five one two three four, and so on I'll put this back down here I won't bother folding it up I'm being lazy by not fixing it down, but here we go. So now we can keep the fingers in the right place and use it as like an exercise.
And that. Here's another one, slightly more. Here's the C major scale. So I'll put that one down there. And it's telling us which fingers to use to play a C scale. So you'll notice it goes from a C up to the next C, the blue one here. So there's these points where you have to play the one, two, three, thumb under. One, two, three, four, five. And back down. Four, three, two, one. Third finger over. Three, two, one. And then up and down. There you go. So there's a few there's a few exercises and skills in the pack um, to do. So that's really how to use how to use the sheets on the iPad. So just before I go, there are some resources up there, like this, for example, I have, there's this sheet which you can um, print off. I mean, if you print it off on a transparency, then you can um, just put it straight over. But it actually works quite well. It shines through the, the paper. This is 90 GSM paper. So if you're using 80 in the schools, it should shine through even better. I'll put that to the side. Here's one that I prepared earlier. So I'll cut a piece off. So this is just has four but um, for your class, but um, if you want, you could use the whole and just stick it on with some blue tack like this. There you go. And I'll just hold it down. There you go. So you can use that for your class, but uh, also um, within the, up on the website, there's there's these sheets as well, because some of you might be experts at the keyboard already. So there's some blank sheets here. Unfortunately, it has all the keys on, um, but that's, well, useful, I suppose. Um, but it also has the fold marks, and you might, um, if you're already a keyboard player, then you might have some tunes or ideas yourself. You can just write them on and give them to the kids. But um I'm sure there's a few things up there to get you started and as the program develops there will be more um, and if you have any ideas yourself you would like me to make some up like these ones then you can always get in touch and I'll happily do that at the minute I've got plenty of time. Okie doke, hopefully that's been a good uh, introduction on how to use these sheets on your iPad. Okie dokie, see you later. Well, hopefully that's given you an idea, a quick idea how to use these sheets on your iPad. So if you want to get a hold of some of these sheets, you need to go and have a look at the Why Am I Making Music channel in Teams. This is how to find it. If for any reason you can't access Teams, then um, perhaps if you search for the Why Am I blog, um, here, you'll get access and I think everybody can have access to the YMI blog. You'll find lots of other activities that the YMI team are getting up to as well. So hopefully that's um, given you a bit of an insight into how to use these sheets and um, have fun. <laughs>